Michael Hajiaguru, a native New Yorker and a Stony Brook professor since 1996, has his office and laboratory in the brand new bioengineering building. The type of research that goes on in my laboratory is one that revolves around the understanding of the development and regeneration of the musculoskeletal system. Professor Haji Arguru had originally intended to study medicine and become a physician. When I was in my second year of, of college, I started working at Rockefeller University doing some research in uh, neuroscience, and that really was fascinating to me. Before he could begin his research, he needed the answer to a question. Globally, what genes are activated or, uh, during the repair of a fractured bone? And when we did this analysis, we found that there were thousands of genes that were expressed. In his laboratory today, the professor will be using the polymerase chain reaction to study some samples he has been collecting. This is a technique that enables us to look at the expression of particular genes under different conditions. He does not work alone in his laboratory. We are making medium for the bone cells to grow in. We are going to supply the bone cells with this medium so that they can grow and uh, produce calcium. So then we can measure with different treatment groups how the calcium production of the bone cells are affected. So we've done an experiment where we expose rats to Ritalin and we want to find out the effects on the skeletal system. Unraveling the genetics of bone healing is the ultimate goal. We were interested in understanding what genes are activated and inactivated during both development and regeneration of the musculoskeletal system and we have focused on a few of these genes that we consider to be important in the regeneration process. Professor Haji Aguru believes that an understanding of the genetics underlying bone and muscle healing could lead to the development of new gene therapies that would invigorate the process. These therapies might be introduced into the injured tissue with the use of biomaterials, but it will be a while. You know, it takes a long time to get something out there to be able to treat patients, so we are still at the basic science level.